I've tried a million times to film this video. Look, um, I had a couple videos to get out the way, and I got them out the way this morning. Um, but this is by far the most important one. I'm not going to say names. <laughs> Out of respect for my two friends. <laughs> because this is their situation, not mine. But especially with one of them. I've known him for a long time. Okay. can't imagine what he's going through, but but it pains me knowing that he's hurt, and so I want to put a message out, not to people grieving, but to people that are helping people grieve and go through the process you know that that person is really special to you when seeing them go through say go through something it hurts you like I said and please don't take this wrong way in no way is this video about me. I'm not the topic of it. I'm not the center of, of I don't want to say attention, but I'm not the center of what's happening here. I'm just part of a support system that is going to watch somebody go through something that is going to change their life. And... Um, along the way, I'm sort of learning how, you know, I've done this before, but not to this extent. Um, along the way, I'm learning how to be there for him. I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, in upcoming videos, you're going to see that my mood is not the same. Like I said, I'm not getting into personal details. But I felt that I at least owed you guys that. To let you guys know that there was something that something... Somebody very close to me. He's like a brother to me. He is my brother, pretty much. That's, I mean, that's how I see him. And over the years, we've had stupid arguments, childish arguments, both acted like idiots, but dude, we're not best friends, we're brothers. And that's what family does, man. It all blows over. And in the end, you love each other anyway. I do have a couple upcoming videos coming in the weeks ahead. I'm waiting for everything to get in. I gotta order the last one today for that video. But for the next few you see, I just ain't got it in me. I just don't have it in me. You know. I really don't even want to go into work today. But I'm going to. Um, I hate that I'm making this sound about me, but it, and it isn't. Basically, the point of this video is, is not only for your, like, for you, but for your loved ones. I think sometimes you... 
you just have to let them know that you're there for them. Um, and the process is something like this. This is where you let them take the lead and you just sort of support them along the way. And I've done this with my mom <clears throat> when we lost my grandmother last year. <laughs> but this is also an individual process. So, like, it's not going to be the same every way. But I think the most important thing is that they know that they have a support system. And that there are people that love them and care about them. And I think that's the most important thing. With that said, I'm going to upload these other videos and this today. So y'all are going to get bombarded with videos. And I'm sorry. But I want to upload them. Get them out of the way. Not really feeling the YouTube thing. Not really feeling the socializing thing. And it just is what it is, man. You know. Just remember that throughout this whole process, just be there for your friends and family and anyone going through grieving or something traumatic. Let them take the lead on how you react. Be attentive to their needs because how one person sees it or how one person handles it is going to be different than how another person handles it. Be attentive to what they need and give them what they need. It, it might be space. It might be compassion and company. You don't ever know. You never know. It's either one of them. I mean, it could be any of them. It could be a mix of them. It could, you know, it could be anything. So be attentive, be there, and remember that this is an individual process. There's no, there's no textbook way that this goes down. That's the best advice I can give. Anyway, see you guys in a week or two or, you know, 